One Piece chapter 1074 just dropped, let's talk about it. So off the bat, we see what I thought was Kuma, but it turns out to be the newest pacifistas that Vegapunk was able to create, and they're the strongest versions. They're nothing like the Summit War from two years ago, which is insane. And this Kuma shows off new abilities, like he pulls up a bubble from his hand and uses it as a shield to block CP0 minions cannons. And he is literally got the new drip on PX3 0 41. He's operating under Sentamaru, which shocker is not dead. And he is saying, Hey, everyone, stop, or I will have to kill you. So now the CP0 minions are giving up and surrendering to this pacifista. And Sentamaru is still alive and he is giving commands saying that, Hey, pacifistas, apprehend these guys and make sure the straw hats can escape because they're going to take Vegapunk off the island and protect him at all costs. Sentamaru also realizes the fact that he's considered a rebel now for what he is doing but he doesn't really care and he orders all 50 of the pacifista mark three to head out and protect the straw hats you know now i'm curious because you know power scaling is always a thing how strong are these pacifistas can they go toe to toe with the straw hat pirates right now like zoro and sanji are they able to withstand enough pressure where you need to pull out that conqueror's coding to take any of them out but i'm very interested to see how this is going to work and this is also giving me end game vibes just because when we're going up against the marines at the end of the story we're going to need a lot of help because the marines are kind of stacked right now with the seraphims and then all the other technology that they have what if these pacifistas under working under Sentamaru work for the Straw Hats and help take care of some of the fodder. That would be amazing. But it'd also be very scary if the Straw Hats have to fight these pacifistas in the near future. We see the whole crew together as they're trying to figure out where Vegapunk went and Luffy saying, hey, I've kind of run, run around the whole building and I don't see him. But we get this really cool shot of the whole crew together. We see Zoro and Brook jipped out in that Vegapunk drip. And then we also see Luchi and Kaku knocked out and Nami's kind of acting all tough and brave, like kicking Luchi while he's down which is great to see. Also, I see Robin right next to them. I'm not sure how Robin's not traumatized and wanting to kill them. Also see some of the other Vegapunks wondering where Stella went. And if you don't remember, Stella is the first Vegapunk variant that we saw. And she's the one who reported that Vegapunk went missing and now she herself is missing. So now the crew's trying to figure out what has happened to these two Vegapunks. And I have a video coming out in a little bit where I talk about where I think Vegapunk and Stella have gone. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, the crew's trying to figure out where these two have gone. And it's really funny because Zoro is saying, hey, we just gotta go find one old man, right? Like, let me go, I'll go find him. And then we see Sanji, Chopper, and Robin all being like, stay put, Zoro, don't go anywhere. And then Robin's just like, yo, just stay put. And it's so cute to see that like everyone doesn't trust Zoro to wander on his own. And then we also get this really cool panel where Zoro and Luffy are just chilling on the couch with Kaku and uh, Rob Lucci knocking out and they're just shooting the shit Zoro's like why are you tired and Luffy's like I always go full power that leads to conversations where Zoro's like isn't it weird to see these two again brings back memories from water 7 right and Luffy's like I wonder if old man ice is well too which is really great to see that they're pulling back from the continuity of one piece and like how this history is not forgotten they remember everything they went through and they can do callbacks like this and honestly it's just really good to see Zoro and Luffy together like it gives me Wano vibes when they first saw each other but I love these two together they're the original straw hat so give me more moments like this then we cut away to Bonnie, where she's going through the memories of Kuma, that big bubble she went into it, and now she's seeing the memories that Kuma face and it's looking pretty disturbing like it shows that Kuma is sort of like a slave he escaped from wherever he was supposed to be and I think other slaves have come to him and it's like Kuma we need to go we'll beat your ass like we're gonna get destroyed if you don't come back and Kuma's like saying I'd rather die I just kill me right now and then the other people start beating Kuma very viciously and Bonnie can't really watch it because you know that's her dad and she can't do anything because it's like a dream state so she has to exit the bubble she starts crying and she's like i gotta resolve myself to see my dad and see what he actually went through which is definitely admirable then cut away to another version of vegapunk i don't really remember all the names but his name is punk 4 and he just got bombarded there's something in the shadow and the, a bomb went off and now we don't know what happened but there was a bomb at egghead island and now we cut away to big news morgan which i wasn't really thinking about and big news morgan is really great he's talking about how 
the world government is trying to kill Dr. Vegapunk because he has sources and that's what the sources are telling him. And he's like, okay, let's come up with a headline. I'll help out the Marines this one time. Let's just say Emperor Monkey D. Luffy kidnapped Vegapunk and barrad or barricaded himself in Egghead Island. So now the government's got to go all out war against Luffy to get Vegapunk back. And he's helping out just so to cover up some of the government corruption. But then we get something very interesting. We see Vivi, who we thought was murdered or kidnapped, and we also see Wapple, they're chilling with Big News Morgan. This is why I hate the government. You guys always paint Luffy to do things he would never do. And Wapple's just crying, being like, dude, don't do this because you don't know where the cameras are. Vivi, we could be watched at all time. But seeing these two characters interact is something I didn't think I needed, but I like the dynamic between these two. And also to see Vivi's alive and good is always great news, but it's so weird that Big News Morgan took Vivi and Wapple and has kept them safe. I don't know why he's doing this, because if he, if he did this, he's kind of a traitor to the marines so why would you help out the marines with this news story but big news morgan just like i don't care the news is something i make it's for entertainment and i'm the one who gets to shake up the world so i don't care if it's the lie or the truth but the newspapers are all about entertainment which is a good parallel to how news works nowadays just because a lot of it may not be lies but it's whatever gets headlined and that's kind of how the chapter ends but i really like the setup because we are going through kuma's memories we have maybe someone an intruder on egghead island that is stealing vegapon and is killing the other variants. We also have the introduction back of Vivi and Wapple into the story, which is really great to see. I love seeing these old characters come back into the story. And I really hope that they have prominent roles in the story going forward, especially Wapple. That'd be really funny because I always thought he was a gag character, but to see him back for some reason. So I think Oda has a plan of what he's going to do with Wapple. Big News Morgan is turning out to be more of a game player in the story than I thought. I just thought he was there for the news and kind of rewriting stuff. But now it seems like he can kind of have some persuasion with the government and doing some government colluding with hiding Vivi and hiding Wapple. It would actually be really great for the story for when One Piece ends and Luffy becomes Pirate King. Big News Morgan is the one to break it to the world. He takes a picture of Luffy at Raftel or with One Piece and he breaks the news that he is the Pirate King. And then also when the government falls, that Big News Morgan's the first one to get the scoop on it. I think that'd be really funny and a great Easter egg for the whole story just because Big News Morgan has been at a lot of very pivotal moments of the story. So he should be there for when it ends and to document document it. But let me know what you guys thought about the chapter in the comments below and please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace.